Dangerous Automaton here, and today I will show you how to install SKSE64, or Skyrim Script Extender for the Special Edition. Due to popular request, I shall make this tutorial. Please note that the difference between the original and the Special Edition is how it's compiled, 32-bit versus 64-bit, essentially meaning the original used 2 gigs of RAM up to 4, and the new version uses 8 gigs of RAM. It could potentially use more, but from what I know, it's kept at 8. Anyway, what you're going to do is head to skse.silverlock.org. The link will be in the description, as always. And you'll see here, current SE build, that's for special edition. If you see my previous tutorial for Skyrim the original version. This is for the original Skyrim from 2011. This is for the special edition. Please note that this is the alpha build. And they say do not ask for a support. The reasoning for this is because it's not fully complete. So please note that this may be glitchy, may be buggy, and there's a possibility that it may not run. It's still in the alpha stage. This is for those who are adventurous and want to get SKSE down in their computer. Anyway, once you download here, Special Edition 7-Zip Archive, you can close out your browser window, and you can navigate over to your downloads directory. And as you can see, I have already downloaded the file once, so I'll just remove the copy. And if anyone is afraid of a virus, I'll do a quick scan just so that all you know the file is safe. Semantic finds no threats and Malwarebytes detects no threats. The file is safe. Now, use 7-zip or you can use Windows Extraction Tool, but personally I prefer 7-zip. Use 7-zip and extract files. Then hit OK. If there's a password, you enter it here, but there is no password. So hit OK and it'll extract there. Note that you don't really need the archive anymore, so you can delete it. Once you go in here, you'll see the following. You'll see data, a bunch of PEX files, you'll see source. This is for modders only, so the general user will not need this. You'll find the main DLL, you'll find the loader, you find the Steam loader, and a couple text files. These are just readmes and what's new. You do not need these. You do not need the source unless you are trying to build a mod. So for the general user, copy data, SKSE64 1523 DLL, this is just the version number, the SKSE loader EXE, and the SKSE steam loader DLL. Please copy or cut, either one works. And then navigate over to the directory in which Skyrim is installed. In this case, it is on my D drive. Program files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. And then you're going to scroll down until you can find the uh, Special Edition. So you see here, Skyrim Special Edition. And you're just going to want to paste it in the main directory. As you can see, the DLL, the loader exe, and the Steam loader DLL are in the main directory and the data files have now been merged with the data directory. So you can see scripts and some extra files were added on. You're essentially done at this point. If you want to ensure that it works, then you can run it off of SKSE loader exe. Please note that with this version of SKSE, if you want to run it, you'll have to send it to the desktop as a shortcut if you want it to be more easy, if you want it to be easy to do. So if I show desktop icons, move that over there so it doesn't bother you, and bring this up here. So from now on, when you launch your game, you launch it from this. So you can call it call it Skyrim Special Edition, you can call it whatever you'd like. Then go to Properties, 
change icon, it'll give you a little air thing. And then you're going to go to your, sorry, st Steam, Steam, Games. And then you're going to scroll down until you find the icon. So in this case, here it is. Open. Okay. Okay. And there you go. There is Skyrim Special Edition. And you're set. Thank you for watching. If you have feedback, please let me know in the comments. Any issues, please let me know. Uh, I tend to check the email multiple times daily. I should be able to help you out. And if you're interested in several other tutorials, please let me know. Starting December 15, I'll do a, a whole day long stream for my semester ending. So if you're interested in more content from this channel that's not tutorial related, then you can check that out. Thank you for watching and have a good day.